All right, what's up guys? Welcome to Duty's Daggers, and we have a double unboxing today. I can't remember the last time I did one of these, but they're kind of related a little bit, so we'll do both. Um, I'm so glad. One of these I'm, I'm, I'm like super duper excited for. This one I'm excited for, but this other one, you might recognize the box. Um, I'm really, really excited about. But let's open this one first. Um, Where's the knife? Let's just open it with the slip seven. Oh man, today was a rough one. Today was a day. You know one of those days. Alrighty, please subscribe to the channel folks. I'd appreciate it. Rosecraft Blades, happy Halloween, cool. Nice sticker. Wobble. Oh, <laughs> this is a seconds. That's why. Um, so, Rosecraft Blades had a seconds uh, sale recently, and I saw this on there. It wasn't one of the models that I was really after, but it was so cheap that I decided why not. It was like $23. Um, it's the doctor's, they call it the doctor's knife. It's like a doctor's knife or surgeon's knife, I guess kind of pattern um, and here it is it's uh it's away real quick it's a two blader very kind of thin design pattern I guess you'd say very thin um, kind of like almost like a long pen blade looks like pretty mushy walk and talk on that one and then a worn cliff over here Pretty nice, uh, nice worn clip though. Yeah, the walk and talk all around is very mushy on this one. All my other Rosecraft blades have been very snappy, so and it's a second, so that's it's probably one of the reasons why it is a second. Um, but you know, for twenty three bucks, why not take the sticker off? I don't know why they insist on putting the China sticker on there. It's like, yeah, I know it's made in China. You don't got to rub it in. <laughs> cool. D2 blade steel. Got a nice edge on it. I was never a big fan of this sort of pattern, the the long, the long skinny kind of pattern. I just don't have much use for it in my day-to-day. -day. Um, but this is pretty cool. Maybe it might be a, I don't know, could be a giveaway knife um, someday or maybe a, Give it to a friend or something. Who knows? It's kind of cool that you can stand it upright. It's got a square square butt on it. So anyways, there you go. Now let's get to the real star of the show here. Oh, baby. This is a big one. This is a big boy. This is a big one. Oh, man. Here we go. Let's get this out of the way. All right, good old TPK. We got a Halloween sticker. Nice. Ooh, that's a good one. Damn, I like that. That's a very good one. And we got the typical flyers. We got some jigged penguins. Um, the uh, the jig tie bears and the hedgehog. Let's get in here, folks. Look at that. It's a gosh dang two. The tube. Oh, put this one. All right, here we go. Oh gosh, look at that! Genuine North American cattle bone from the GEC Bone Works. Oh yes, oh yes. Look at that. Blue stonewash or stonewash blue natural bone number forty-seven. You folks know what the 47 is? Oh. Give that wax paper a nice sniff. Mm-hmm. Got a pin. Viper, baby. Viper. Oh, yes. Oh. 
Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh, oh. This is the Viper, dudes. Wow. Very thin behind the edge, as is expected. Uh, so this isn't. This is kind of a different uh, sort of version of the Viper that you might normally hit, normally see. Um, usually it says Viper on the blade. This one is the bone version, and it says uh, you know genuine North American cattle bone on. This is this is raw, just raw bone. And I really like the look of it. Um, I don't. Did they dye that blue on there? They might have. I don't know. Um, but you know it says genuine North American cattle bone, so it's from a North American, you know, cow somewhere, or steer, I guess, um, who knows, but um, I just really like the look of it, I think it looks really nice, it's kind of a, it's not uniform side to side, you can tell this side, it's got like a little bit of a bulge, where this other side doesn't, it's not very noticeable, but there's some, some small variations, you could see... <coughs> This side of the scale is thicker than that side. Um, but that's just how bone is. It's not a uniform material. And that kind of, that's, I don't know, it's kind of charming in a way. It's, um, you know. Wow, look how perfectly centered that is. Holy jeez. That is about as perfect centering as you could possibly ask for. Let me let Floki out. He's whining. Can't just let me enjoy my Viper, huh? All right. Uh, so it's a little bigger than I was expecting, um, which is not bad. This is still a, a really good size. This is, uh, well, just to compare, my other um, sway back is the laid back jack from Jack Wolf, and it's a smaller, a little bit smaller sway back. So there you can see the two. Um, this is a great size for just a small EDC. This is still great for a smaller EDC, but. You got more edge to work with, you know? You can break down some uh, some boxes real nice with this. Then this too, but um, this has a much thinner measurement behind the edge. Um, I ha had a little, I've had a little bit of an issue with this knife, um, getting it nice and sharp because it's surprisingly thick behind the edge. And that's weird for a Jack Wolf. Everyone that I've handled had an, it was nice and thin, but this one, um, well, let's measure it right now. I've thrown it on the workshop twice now, trying to get it nice and sharp, and it's just the, yeah, it's like 24 thousandths behind the edge. Yeah, 23, so I don't know, that's weird. Um, I guess they're all like that, I'm assuming, who knows, but um, I really, what I need to do is lay back the angle a little bit, but I don't want it to have a an unsightly wide bevel on it, so who knows? It's a little, a little disappointing on that one. I, I, th I can think I'd probably fix it, but now this one, <laughs> the measurement behind the edge on this baby. Is 10 thousandths, holy shit. Oh wait, hold on, no, 13, 13. 13 thousandths, yeah. That's more like it, baby. Um, like most GECs, doesn't have a great edge on it. I'll need to touch that up. Um, luckily, I am able to put these in the work sharp. Um, they don't clamp super well, but you just have to be kind of gentle with the stone as you're working it and not, not put too much pressure down, and it totally works. The walk-on talk on this the walk and talk on this one is... We'll see as it breaks in a little bit. It's not like, uh, hold on. Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. I just needed to work in a minute. Yeah, it's good. A little bit of a lighter pull. Um, let's get out the yellow rose here. Man, look at these two beauties. Holy crap. 
I am a lucky man. I am a lucky man. Um, my other uh, full size GEC, my seventy eight is actually um, uh, is uh, sent off to uh, get some changes uh, uh, done to it, and uh, you guys will see that when I get it back. Really excited about it, um, but that's the reason I won't pull it out here. Uh, we can get out my other, my last other GEC, the little rattler. that little guy up here nice so it is pretty much exactly yellow rose size almost exactly yep pretty much yep pretty much exactly it is a, it's a really good size um, you know it's j it's pretty much perfect for for a, an EDC slip joint you know it's enough blade to do whatever you want it's not too big to where it uh, becomes a, any of any any bit of a hassle to carry. It's just perfect. Um, Forty-seven, oh one twenty-three. So wait a minute. Warncliffe is yeah. Warncliffe's are zero, right? Yeah, one cliff must be zero. Yeah, one cliff or zero, number zero. So the numbers are the the first two is the the model number eighty six, for the yellow rose here, and then uh, forty seven, for the viper. The next one is the blade designation. Um, so each blade shape has a corresponding number to it. Uh, spear points are number two, and one cliffs are zero. And then I don't have any other blade shapes here to, to see what, what else, what you know, other ones, but uh, those are the two I know. The next number is the number of blades. So we have a one, single blader. On my 78 American Jack, it says two there because it's a two blader. And then the last two is the year, 2023 on these two. And then this one, I think, 2020. And then my 78, I forget... I forget what it was. I think it's an older one. I think it's like a seven, 17, 2017 maybe. But um, that's just cool. I, I really like how they do that. It just it gives you all the information you, you need to know about the knife just in that in that series of numbers. I think that's so cool, you know. You could tell somebody, hey, I have a, you know, I have a 7801.23, and that tells you it's a Viper. It's a... If you didn't know what the 47 was, you could say, oh, it's a it's a Warncliffe, a single blade Warncliffe made in 2023. So, yeah, just cool. Uh, this is awesome. Um, I'm absolutely going to be uh, carrying and using this. Hell yeah. Um, I, might, eh, I might baby it a little bit, but I am for sure going to use it. Um, you know, I've really been babying the rose... Um, I have used it, but you can see I haven't cut anything that would patina the uh, the carbon steel yet. Um, <laughs> I will eventually, probably, but man, just something, I don't know. I, I know I'll probably like it even more once it starts getting a little bit of a patina on it, but it's almost a shame to, you know, put a patina over this beautiful polished edge or polished blade. It's just absolutely beautiful, but I will. This one doesn't have such a shiny finish on it, um, so this one I won't have so much of a <laughs> an issue Go ahead, going ahead and patinaing up. Awesome. Very, very happy. Um, yeah, this is freaking awesome. I need to make a slip for it now. I wonder if I'm going to make uh, this sort of swayback slip. We'll see, maybe. Let's see. Just a little bit bigger. That would work really good in there. Yeah, just slips right in. All right, folks, thanks for watching. 
Please like the video before you head out. I'd appreciate it. See you next time. Bye-bye.